Eric Hosmer with Mark and Rich on is he feeling the pressure with the contract that he signed? I think there's pressure at this level no matter who you are. I think no matter what your situation is, the big leagues, I think it's pressure for everybody. I think the main thing I try and do is is I try and uh, you know get the most out of my teammates that I can, especially uh, you know whether it's younger guys or veteran guys. It, you know, I think that part of it's irrelevant. I think you know obviously there's a difference with younger guys. You have to kind of give them a heads up and kind of show them certain adjustments that you need to make at the big league level. But you know as far as preparation and work and and the routine that we like to have as baseball players, I think that's something that you know I like to bring over and and guys like myself and Freddie and Chase want to bring over to. You know, have these guys install a game plan in their routine and, and basically try and simplify this game as much as you can because it's hard enough going out there not having any familiarity with the league or who you're facing. So, you know, we feel there's certain ways on how to prepare for a game to where you can maybe simplify it for a couple guys and, and definitely – have a game plan for certain um, certain guys, especially offensive-minded going in. In your NFL career, did you like kind of what he just described in showing young guys how to sustain success, how to be a professional, yeah. how to take care of your body, how to act on the road, how to dress? Maybe not call somebody out, but just sort of. Yeah, you know I was bad at calling people out. I've told you that was the right. one weakness in leadership, but I did like to set an example. This is how we go about our business. This. Let me see your notes. Let's have a look at your notes. And that was laid out to me by my mentor, Roman Oban. And Roman, every week, what we had to do as a rookie was come in and we had to have a one-page scouting report. Every single starter on the offensive line presented a scouting report on his opponent or two opponents. And that'd be very thorough. And if it wasn't thorough, Roman would call you out. And he'd be like, no, 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 that's, that's not enough. We need more than that next time. And in fact, just go ahead and give us more right now. What do you know about him? What kind of film you've seen? What moves do we need to be leery of that he can present? What's his go-to? That kind of thing, laying it out like that, just to get your head thinking in the manner that coaches think. And I like that about Haas. And you know he's at a really advanced place in his career when he starts to talk about simplifying things. Mm -hmm. Because everything eventually comes full circle. So beginner's luck you have a lot of beginner's luck because everything's simple and you're just reacting. Sure. And then as you start to learn more about yourself and learn more about your opponents, then the intricacies start to ratchet up and you start to lack success as you're thinking your way through a game, which hopefully is where Hunter Renfro and Will Myers were last season. Kind of thinking a little bit too much, getting in their own head, getting in the pitcher's head, and then eventually coming back full circle and just going, we need to simplify this process and come back to the basics and have a really effective game plan that's pared down a touch. And I think that's what Eric's talking about is simplifying life for ourselves, being very systematic. And I think when guys find systems about their life, when everything you wake up and you go to bed the same time, the same way every single night, when you eat basically the same foods all the time, pre-game and post-game, you know you're going to recover the same. There's not a whole lot of change in your regiment. Then I think you can start to have more success because it simplifies it and hones everything down to just ball and just have being in the right mind space when you step into that batter's box.